Fortnite squad. So Borderlands has some pretty unique weapons in the game. Today I bring you five of my favourite. These are either by design or performance or both. So let's go. So we firstly have a weapon I am calling the Super Mario Gun. This I know doesn't look that unique but for damn sure the way this thing fires and sounds it's pretty damn amazing. As you can see on screen now this weapon shoots a lot like the Fire Mario when he picks up a fire flower. Epic but listen to the sound it also makes. That distinct sound of Mario's old school theme tune. Now I've tried for hours to try and shoot this in sync with that tune, but I just can't get it down. What I can do though is edit the video footage of this to make the shooting match the theme. Take a listen. So yeah, the Super Bowl or the Super Mario firing fireballs. This thing had to be on my list. Okay, so next up we have a weapon which is super unique in itself too. Now I know this is alien tech and the sniper isn't really a one-off as I've seen a couple about, but the Malik's Bane for me has an edge for what it can actually do. This sniper rifle switches to a shotgun and it's pretty epic at the same time. Now I know if you have farm legendaries like I have, you've probably come across this with different stats and so forth. So I know this weapon isn't the rarest in this list, but for me it's uniqueness in looks with that alien tech applied, plus the fact this can switch between two weapon types is why I've added it to my top five. Okay, so next up we have another weapon which for me is more than just a weapon because it refers to one of my favorite superheroes. And plus the way this thing looks and shoots is why it's in my top five. The Jericho in which if you didn't know and I didn't tell you, you'd 100% say this is a great looking sniper rifle. And well I'd agree this is great looking, but people this isn't a sniper rifle. This is classed as a rocket launcher. Now the reference from this refers to no one other than Iron Man. Now we all know what Borderlands is like with their easter egg references. There are literally thousands across the series and this is another. So why Iron Man are you wondering? Well the Jericho missile is the one he tests in Iron Man 1, which ultimately leads to him shutting down his production of mass killing weapons. Now within the movie before testing the Jericho missile, he states he prefers the weapon you only have to fire once and that's what it also states on this weapon. Now obviously this won't act like a Tony Stark Jericho missile but it does indeed do a good job of trying to as you can see on screen now. So yeah, I love this thing, even though it's quite impractical for most instances. Okay, so next up guys, we have this oozing gravitating rose and spawns. Where there is pleasure, there is pain. This super unique looking pistol was sent to me by I am Heathen321, so massive thanks for that. Now the design of this thing is pretty damn epic, with that rose pattern design to it. Because let's face it, the weapon actually doesn't look that great without those roses on it and it's nothing unique about it. But the design on this weapon is definitely unique and I might be being a little biased as it's called the Fawn 2. Me being a Destiny lover probably had something to do with this being on this list. But I will say this weapon isn't just a pretty face, it's also a high end end game weapon which just eliminates all in its path. As you can see, struck 
gyro jets increase damage by 10% each land all on the same enemy and you have a great damage increase and this is without any special build too so imagine the stack damage you can do with a weapon like this okay so the last weapon on my list is called the disciplined ripper and i mean well just look at this thing it has blood spewing off the front of it i mean damn i love the design on this now this was sent to me by it's me bro so a massive shout out to him now this legendary reminds me a lot of a fusion rifle from destiny just in the shape of it and watching the way it fires its first shot is much like a fusion rifle shot it also does increase damage to enemies you melee with this weapon and it's just incredible i think it's probably i mean it seems like probably about 30 to 50 percent buff on weapon damage once you melee an enemy so it's pretty good but the design of this thing and the uniqueness to it is why it's top of my top five most amazing weapons list now if you have any super unique weapons either through design or the way they perform and would like to show them off you can tweet them at me at dpjsc08 linked within the video description guys but on that note we have come to the end of the video these are my top five most unique looking weapons I hope you enjoyed the video, I really do. If you did, leave a like, it really helps out. If you are new around here and want more Borderlands 3 videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Randy Orton in a place we've never seen him before. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, oh my god! The Pipe Bomb, aka The Piper, aka Holy shit, I almost sold this. One of the most insane damage output you can do with literally one click on a button. But this grenade requires you to do some very complicated steps to use it at full potential. Step 1. Throw. You see, this will result in massive kabooms and even more little kabooms. Even though these little grenades do insane damage and make this the most broken grenade I've ever seen, used or heard about in any game ever. So why is this not a legendary grenade? And why is it this good? Let's check it out. Damage. 4,601 Hmm... Radius 585 Boring. Exploder Hippity Porcelain Pie Bomb Slinkin' Beam and Splution What? Okay, I don't know. It just does what it does. So why are you not using it? Gearbox totally screwed up by not patching this on the 19th. So before they actually do, stop having fun and finish that side mission. Raiders of the Last Rock 4,601 out of 10, we'll throw grenades at bosses again. What's going on guys, Killer6 back with another Borderlands 3 item review for you and today we're taking a look at the Infinity. Now the version that I got is the Krovi Infinity or Kruvi Infinity, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but either way, uh, this is the variant that I got, I have seen other variants as well, so I don't know yet which one is the best, but this was the, the one that I've got that did the most damage, so that's the one that I'm keeping for now. Um, as you can see, at uh, level 50, this thing has 396 damage, 90% accuracy, which is strange considering it actually shoots out in the shape of an infinity, so it's not nearly as accurate as that might suggest. Handling is 60%, reload time 2.8 seconds, uh, fire rate 7.45 per second, mag size of 1. Red text says it's closer than you think. No, it isn't, which is identical to the red text for this gun when it was in Borderlands 2. Weapon damage is 33% and it has a 2.2 times weapon zoom. The red text on this gun is a reference to Stephen King's short story, The Jot, and just like it was in Borderlands 2, obviously. So let's take this thing into the proven grounds and see what it can do. All right, so first and foremost, the Infinity Pistol, for anybody that may not know, is uh, it just never, it doesn't use ammo. Um, in Borderlands 1, you always had to have one pistol ammo uh, to use this weapon. Now in Borderlands 3, you don't have to have ammo at all. As you can see down in the bottom right, there is no mag size listed for this gun. So you no longer even need uh, to have ammunition. So on a character like Gage, if she was in Borderlands 3, she would actually be able to use this with Anarchy. But, uh, you know, she was out of luck because uh, with Anarchy it would reduce her mag size, so she was never able to really use the uh, the Infinity unless you found... There was a uh, class mod that you could use later on uh, that you got from the uh, Dragon Keep DLC, but even still, I mean, it's not, not the best option for Gage regardless. 
Um, but anyhow, let's get back to Borderlands 3 and the Infinity Pistol. So as you can see, um, it, it's okay. You know, I'll say that. It's, it's an okay gun. Um, it is what it is. You know, it, it's all about that not needing ammo thing. So what I always told people about the Infinity on Borderlands 2 was that it's great for normal and true Vault Hunter mode where ammo tends to be an issue. It's not always so hot for ultimate mode where, you know, you're going to have better options for doing damage and ammo is usually not that big a deal by the time you get to ultimate mode, you know what I mean? So that's always been my hot take on that. Um, now, I I'll say this. I, I love the Infinity Pistol on certain characters on Borderlands 2, but here in Borderlands 3, it does feel pretty lackluster in terms of the damage. There, are, There's a lot better options, and uh, you'll see that in my other item reviews that I've posted. Um, this thing, this one just doesn't, you know, really do it. Here, let's let the, uh, let's let the, the clone use his infinity pistol. He has, you know, pinpoint accuracy, so let's see how this goes. Yeah, as you can see, it's just, it takes forever. It just takes forever to kill something. So, is the infinity pistol worth having? Yeah, I mean, you know, sure it's a gimmick, and yeah, it's not as powerful as a lot of other options out there, but... It's still, it's a fun gun to have, man. You know, like, it's it's always been one of those items that's been highly sought after for one reason or another. And, uh, you know, it just is what it is. So, um, that said, do I think that the Infinity is great? No, not at all, man. This, this gun, um, when you compare this to, like, a lot of the other weapons that you're going to find in Borderlands 3, you're going to be like, this one can just sit on the, the shelf, you know what I mean? <laughs> this one's one of those ones that you're going to use as a room decoration, and probably that's about it. <laughs> but, I don't know, all in all, good gun, not great, fun to have, very gimmicky, um, just like before it shoots in the, uh, the shape of an infinity symbol, I don't know if you can see that, it's really hard to tell that. See how the bullets, you can see them kind of going in the, the figure eight shape on the wall there. Yeah, that's, uh, that's what the Infinity Pistol is. It's great from medium to close range. Not so good from far away where your, uh, your bullets spread all over the damn place. I guess this is why it's saying that the, the accuracy is 90. It's because wherever you're aiming the gun, it's going to make that Infinity shape. And it's going to make it fairly accurately every time. So, uh, you know, good up close. Okay at medium range, terrible at long range. But that's just how it is. So, let me know down in the comment section below, have you found the Infinity Pistol in Borderlands 3? Uh, if you did, did you find it from one source reliably? I have yet to figure out who drops this thing. Once I do figure that out, I will let you guys know via either a pinned comment or uh, maybe even in the description of the video so you guys can go and, and hunt this thing for yourselves if you want to. But, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then please take a second to hit that like button, hit subscribe for more. Tap the bell icon to be notified anytime I post a new Borderlands video because there will be a lot more Borderlands 3 videos on this channel. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you in the next one. Y'all have a great day.